now we are going to see about the best command line text editors that is the top three best first that is vim and emacs and nano first let me see about the installation of vim for in vim installation on debian the command will be app get insta and vim this is for debian and derivatives next one is dnf install vim this is for fedora latest versions that is 22 plus versions and the next is yum install vim this is for red dot and its derivatives now let us see about installation in red dot type for that yum install vim we can mention here iphone y that is it automatically gives yes for whatever the questions asked during installations so let me check without iphone y first As you can see here, it's asking yes or no. When we give yes, it starts downloading the packages. And if you already give in the command hyphen y, then it won't ask for any yes or no questions. Yes, the installation is complete now you can use vim editor example vim text this is vim editor to insert text you have to give insert that is i and enter the text for saving give escape and colon and w q and press enter now you can see the save document here it is text you can open it again using the same command vim and text you can save it forcefully also first insert some command some lines and save w q and exclamatory symbol this symbol represents forcefully so finished the next is we are going to see the installation about Emacs as said earlier for Debian the installation is apt hyphen get install Emacs and for Fedora DNF install Emacs And now we are going to look about Red Hat Yum install and Emacs. Or US. Now we are going to use Emacs. You can open Emacs by entering just Emacs. For creating a new file, 
you have to give control X control F here you can see the path in the path you have to give the new file name actually this command is for finding when we give new file which is not present it creates a new file and file name give enter now the new file is created now enter your text and you can save it by control x and control s now the text document is saved and you can and you can quit it by control x and control c you can check in desktop the new file doc the next installation is about the nano editor for that for debian apt hyphen get install and nano and for fedora fedora latest versions dnf install and nano now we are going to see about the installation in red hat yum in install and the package name as i already said you can quit this installation you can give here iphone y you can see here it it is asking yes or no when we give iphone y it won't ask for question it just proceeds and that's all now we can open the nano editor nano and press enter you can just enter the text and for saving we can see here exit option while exiting it asks for save option so give Control Shift X and it's asking yes or no. For S, yes, you have to give capital Y and for no, you have to give capital N. Now I'm giving capital Y and it asks for file name to be saved. I'm giving and give enter. Now you can see. Sorry. The file is saved as text doc. Thank you.